Hello, welcome back. I am, as you may know by now, Coach Professor Lucilius Terrio Leap. I go by Luke. Today, we are talking about House Sakurai, the third house founded at Worthwich School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Again, I am in a different location in my house to represent this story. Now, I don't know if you can quite tell, but I am on the ground, um, and it is uncomfortable because I am a person who likes to fly with brooms and such. Ah, so I will make this brief, but informative and accurate and entertaining. Here we go. Now, House Sakurai. House Sakurai was founded by a woman named Emmy Yakota. Excuse me, I have extra paper in my book. Emmy Yakota was a young witch from Japan who was never really um, one to excel at formal wizarding education having almost drowned off the coast of the seas of Japan, she was rescued by Marin Farage, the founder of House Quilantis, and brought to an underwater cavern that served as a refuge and sanctuary. It was called Quilantis. It was a sanctuary for wizards and witches like Emmy who didn't fit in at their homes. Emmy was able to learn magic from the other people at Quilantis who accepted and appreciated her. She didn't have this acceptance and appreciation at home on land at her magical um, school that she formerly attended. She wished others like her could learn from the people at Quilantis, um, like she did, uh, without having to almost drown to get there, though. So she came up with the idea of bringing the school onto land and making it travel around the world. She suggested this idea to Marin Farage and helped usher in a new era of the school on land. Over time, Quantus again, as I have said, was sought out by those hoping to harm witches and wizards, and every 50 years or so, the school changes its name and location. Of course, it is currently called Worthwich School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and found in Central Texas. It has four houses to honor influential founders of the school. The third house, Sakurai, is named um, in Emmy Yokota's memory. Emmy was made a founder for her revolutionary idea to make the school mobile and bring it to land. Now, Sakurai has many house traits and characteristics, just as the other houses. It is the third house founded at Worthwich. The, uh, the Sakurai head of house is, of course, Professor Mabina McCormick, our charms master. The house colors of Sakurai are crimson and white. And again, this is the candle for Sakurai I keep in my classroom with red and white wax melting down it. The house element for Sakurai is earth um, as the Sakurai symbol is the uh, house symbol is the cherry blossom that of course sprouts from the earth. I am here on the ground of my house uh, by the door because it is the closest I can get in my home. Uh, to the outdoors. I do not currently have a yard or earth of my own, so this is the closest I can get physically to the earth uh, to tell this story. Now the house magical creature, again not a mascot, but like a mascot, uh, is the kitsune, which is a magical fox from Japan. Um, every so often Professor Arifin Sylvanus, Care of Magical Creatures professor, is able to bring a kitsune and lecture about it at school during our in-person seminars um, and semesters. So keep that in mind, Sakurai. If every Professor Sylvanus is talking about the kitsune, she is talking about your house mascot slash creature. Now, characteristics of house Sakurai from a professor perspective. Again, Worthwich does not have set personality qualifications or characteristics to be sorted into any house because it accepts everybody but again, each house develops their own communal dynamic. This is the dynamic that I see in Sakurai from my professor perspective. So to me, Sakurai is the house of compassion and community. They care for each other um, and are one of the only houses uh, that routinely meets outside the school year. I know other houses do this as well. However, it is to my understanding that Sakurai does this more frequently than any other house, though I could be wrong. Uh, Sakurai does have a reputation as the Quidditch house, uh, and that reputation does predate my uh, tenure as the Quidditch instructor at Worthwich, um, though they have maintained that reputation under my tenure. 
Um, their desire to maintain this reputation can make them ruthless sometimes though. Um, but this reputation for Quidditch does not make Sakurai my favorite house. Again, I am, I am an unbiased uh, professor here at Worthwich. That's why I'm not a head of house. Um, and that's why I have to be, because I referee the Quidditch matches between houses. So that being said, I do have a closer connection to many Sakurais than any other house, simply because I watched them in study hall and helped substitute teach a charms lesson for them. Uh, and we bonded through that experience. And Sakurai also hosts um, many informal Quidditch practices within their house. Um, and I try to participate in any Quidditch I can. So I have also bonded from, uh, with them from those experiences as well. But other houses have been joining in those as well. So I'm currently, you know, beginning to grow closer to every house at Worthwich. But Sakurai was the first house with which I really felt a connection at Worthwich. Um, but that has since changed. I now feel very connected to every other house at the school. So that is the house history of Sakurai. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video about Wyverno. It will be our final installment in the Worthwich House Histories series, um, and it's going to be pretty great. So I'll see you tomorrow.